So hi everyone, here's Camille Kuo. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate this portrait in a different way that I used to approach. I'm going to try to use a new way to paint the portrait, kind of like resemble a traditional art style. And I'm also going, only going to use Photoshop default brush to demonstrate. I go to brush options and I open up the wet, wet media brushes and choose just, uh, just this one and open my brush presets. Uh, of course you will see several functions already active now but I'm go also gonna turn on the color dynamic and I have hue jitter uh, slightly turn up. Hue jitter is, it gives you different colors when you paint. So I'm gonna create a new layer and uh, really enlarge my brush size, tilt it a little bit you want to paint the base. And of course, since I have the wet edges on, so it feels like watercolor. I'm just going to freely paint, plug in the shape. Add another new layer, and this layer is going to be resemble my definition of, of the face features. And I'm going to set the color darker. Just pen it in the shadow. And remember I said before, skin color tone will be interesting to look at it if you have um, the warm against cold and cold against warm and and the lighting and different lighting volume. So I'm going to try to use like red tone here. And yet, remember the eyeballs. It's gonna be uh, slightly cool in color, in terms of color, but it's not totally. It's not totally white though. And yeah, I'm going back to install its eyebrow because I forgot. And the eyebrow, okay, red. You know, since I have this shadowing other layer, so I can. Uh, I, I, can, I can take them off, slightly brush them, erase them off. And now I'm going to create another layer just upon the water base layer. I went back to my watercolor brush. i choose the skin tone. Like very bright, very bright orange. Let's see how it's gonna look. I actually feel the nose is a bit uh, up, so I'm going to select it and of course move it to the center. So you might not be wonder the colors are are not smooth because it look jittered. Well, we can always go to just mixture brush. See, the reason I choose a uh, saturated skin color because my base watercolor tone is kind of... I mean, it makes my base watercolor tone kind of grayish, which is cooler. So remember I said before, it's better to use warm against cool. Uh, depends on your different value, uh, different lighting value. I'm gonna erase my uh, erase the details. Uh, go back to my skin color layer. I'm going to uh, brush in some different color. Uh, blocking the overall general shadow. Don't worry about if the brush is too sharp because you can always blur it or erase it, erase the edge, or or just use a mix mixture brush to soften it.
gonna get a bit of light. Well, if, if I wanna make the orange pop, the slightly opposite color of the orange is blue, so I'm gonna use blue. Right now, I don't worry about overall looking, I'm just laying down the base color. Go back to the mixture brush. <clears throat> mixture brush, okay, I'm going to blend in. And nowadays the Photoshop tool is it's getting easier and easier to use. Seriously, before I probably have to do this in Pender, that Photoshop do not have something similar to add water function in Pender. But nowadays the mixture brush is it can be resembled as uh, just uh, add water function in Pender. So at this point, I'm going to add in some detail by erasing my information uh, layer. Well, okay, I actually would like uh, the eyebrow to be lighter, I mean. I don't want to fix some color, so I go to color layer. Look at the eyes. It should be red. Finally, when you use web edges, you need to choose the saturated color to really show the color that you painted. I'm just using a uh, smudge tool to make the line because then you can make the line really fine. Yeah, I need to add back the highlight of the lips. Yeah, I was on the erasing tool. I'm just erasing uh, the detail of the feature.
I'm gonna give it a very blue highlight. The the lighting value doesn't need to be high. You just keep it down gray. Oh hold on, I'm on the wrong layer. Yeah, I want I don't want the shape dynamic. I'm gonna give it the eyeball. Kind of different tonal color. Last is a kind of a test. I'm uh, gonna give it a very saturated dark blue in uh, the area where it's the darkest. Create a new layer. So yeah, the neck. So I can just use color dodge to the color dodge to to light just just to light out the libel, eyeball. It's a lazy way to do it, fast and lazy way. But I I would not use I would not overuse the color dodge. Let's find the background. Actually, I don't really like the eyes. So I'm gonna fake the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna go back to... Uh, just gonna, just going to preset my brush. Oh yeah, I'm pinned. Going to the go back to the airbrush and erase out uh, the detail of my feature or the uh, detail in the shadow. Of course, a uh, highlight of the f uh, hair. Well, that probably looked nice, but uh, I'd like to redo it. Oh, it's a purple color. No, I don't like that. It's
Okay, now I can just go back to the detail of the features and remember I have it in separate layers so now I can just change the change the color and the line look at the opacity if it's just lighter it actually looks better yeah I'm going to lock the layer I'm going to paint color inside So I'm going to add uh, so the opposite color of dark orange, which is blue. Yeah, airbrush, soft and erase. So now let me zoom in to do the eyes. Going to make a linear dot layer at the highlight of the eyes. to use the smudge tool and 
course, it's cool. I'm going to erase some of the feature details. Yeah, the dark area around the eyes are too much. So I'm going to use a lighter to paint my dark area. Yeah, I like this blue. I don't want your uh, darkest area with black too much, so that's why I light it up with color. If I want, I can always go back to just paint with the darker color then. Yeah, this eyeball is not rounded, so I'm going to fix it. I'm just going to fix it like this. Smudge tool with the uh, sample layers on. I'm going to just go back to the highlights to highlight up the lips. I'm going to put, uh, going back to the color layer. You use a very saturated red. Because the eyebrows are too sharp, I'm going to soften them. It may be slight erase some of the eyebrows. If you got to use red to pop it out. Actually, that seems better without those definition of lines. Huh. Alright, then it's going to erase then. Actually, I think that it seems even better without all these other details or other colors. Okay, back to smudge tool.
Well, I'm just gonna to add a level adjustment. So yeah, the final I'm going to create a new layer, set it in color dodge. Just give it a yeah, sweet spice of light. Purple and yellow. Yeah, instantly give it like a lot of color. Or maybe I can further color balance this layer. So they are around the eyes, kind of dark. Uh, I'm gonna give it really like that. Hello. Holy, that looks cool. Maybe cyan blue. Guess that's it. Add a little bit uh, level adjustment. Maybe I don't need to. Or right, how's it looks on the black background? Okay. Yeah, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.